what was it? Israel, sir. I am grafted into Israel. That makes me an Israelite. Uh, okay. Okay. I hope you. What does that, that make you? Like, what does that Sorry, mean? Like, what is uh, that means I'm grafted into Israel, the good olive tree. I'm the wild olive branch. Would nobody know wilder than me, Jack? I'm the wild olive branch. It was grafted into the good olive tree, and now I've been pruned, and so I'll produce fruit. So, sir, you can see all this in John chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. Okay, yeah, so you're a pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. No, sir, I'm not a Christian. Please do not call me that. Like a Christian a is okay with being a liar and a hypocrite. A Christian is one who says, I love Jesus and I do what he says to do. And then they walk out the door and don't do a damn thing he said to do. The so most you, close-minded person on planet Earth, Mr. Batman. Mr. Batman, so you believe me? Be careful with him, okay? Oh, okay, okay. So you believe in Christ Jesus, correct? No, sir. I know Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah. The Jesus sure. okay. that everybody's okay. looking at, that everybody points to, that's the Antichrist, sir. This is how you'll know that the true Messiah is coming on the scene is when Jesus shows up. Right. So we're yeah. talking about the guy who, you believe the guy uh, in the guy who died on the cross for our sins, correct? No, sir. I know the man who died for my sins. I don't believe. I believe. Okay, you could be wrong about things you believe. Sure. You cannot be hey, wrong Mr. about Rogers, things. You Mr. Know. Rogers, who died for your sins? Perfect. Okay, perfect. You believe, you, you, you know that, all right? And you follow his word, right? Yes, sir. I... Love my king, and I keep his commandments. You're a Christian. Yeah, no, sir. Like Christians do not keep the Sabbath. That is Are one of the wrong? main, that is the main sign. It is the most mentioned commandment in the Bible. And it's the most broken commandment by the damn Christians who claim to love God. Sir, okay. I keep the Sabbath. I keep the feast days. I do not eat the piggy. Christians do all those things that God says do not do. Okay. Right. I don't know if you're being serious or not right I think, now. I think, but, I think he's genuine article, yes. I am, sir. I am genuinely serious. He's an eccentric character, but he, he, he's committed to the Okay. Bit. Okay. All right. All right. So that sounds Thank more you. like Corbin. Yep. But yeah, so mrbatman.com, what if you if someone like walked up, up to you on the street and you had you could only give them a short answer and they asked you what religion, what would you say? He'd probably say what he is, the the thing he said earlier. Yeah, but like shorten it. Like what what just the label you give yourself. That is pretty short it's a word, you know. I am Israel. Okay. Okay. See, Jesus okay. said, I have only come for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. I am the house of Israel. Okay, so why, why am I, as an atheist, a, a hypocrite and a liar? Well, have you ever told a lie? Have you? Didn't ask you that, sir. Have you ever told a lie? That's yes. called deflection of what you yes, just did. Just as everyone else has. Yes, just as oh, everyone no, else that's has. All justification, sir. Please, it's all right. I know you're a sinner. Yes, I'm just getting you to justify it as well, sir. So you are a liar. You know what the Bible says about that? All liars have their place in the lake of fire, which burns forever right. and ever. Amen. There you go. Um, Mr. Batman, Mr. Batman, um, I, from what I understand, maybe I'm wrong. But I feel like you everyone are. has sinned in one way or another, right? Like everyone has lied at least no, once, which is not, not good. everyone. Okay, okay, but most people, most people That's right? That's too. Everyone does sin. No, I'm sure. But I'm no, sure that no. that everyone right. has sinned. Jesus never sinned. Right. Yeshua Hamashiach, the Messiah, That's never fair. sinned. That's fair, but you're not Jesus, Wait, though. 
That's why he went to hell. Yes, he did. That's why he went to hell and conquered it. In your belief. Yes, he did. Go ahead and mute that turd. You're dumber than a box of rocks. Jesus never went to hell, sir. Jesus didn't have to conquer hell. He owns it, stupid. He conquered hell. I used to be a Christian. Yeah, so um, I feel like everyone sinned every once in a while, or at least most people have. Obviously, Jesus didn't if he's real. Um, have sinned, sir. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Right, that would be right. every this human real, being that's ever lived, except right. for the God-man, Jesus right. Christ. Like he's the God. only one who ever came to this planet and did the human condition perfectly. Right, but that's that's my point though, is that like everyone sinned, like a lot not everyone, most people except Jesus have sinned. I don't live in that sin anymore, sir. While I am you know, a former sinner, I don't live that life anymore. Have you done at least one bad thing recently, like the past year? I'm sorry, sir. Please pay attention. What is a sin? Uh I don't define it for me. I don't know. You, you what wait, what's a bad thing, sir? You just asked me if, if you yeah, equated like a bad, a bad thing, thing to sin. sin. So a sin is like something that displeases God. It's an action. Okay, or... how do you know if it displeased him or not, Skippy? Uh, he, well, set out a bunch of, he set out a bunch of rules in the Bible, I think. It, it really? goes against... Wow, you're not as stupid as you think. Or as I, I think. think. But anyway, sir, it's about Torah. God tells us how he wants us to live. He gives us his instruction, his Torah. It says in Proverbs, I give you good doctrine... Do not forsake my Torah. Can you calm down for a second? Let me ask more questions. Never. I love my king. I never calm down. This is about as, as calm as it gets. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So wait, because you're trying to fire for God. You got to understand. Okay, you're trying to talk. Thank you, sir. Time. I am a little tired. It has been a long day. Yeah, they should see you oh, when you have it's because I actually I put up signs at my uh, new church. I've actually been working on a lot of their signage, and I have gone crazy working on stuff for this. So I, yes, thank you, sir, for noticing. I'm a little tired. Nice to hear, man. Well, well they should see you when you have you know. uh, I will tell you this, Mr. Mike. Um, I don't know if you got that uh, link that I sent you the other day about that uh, chronological gospel. But got it. Got uh, it. I'm on day three of my cancer medication for just started out oh. that cancer medication. That's kind of got me whacked too. So I appreciate oh. it. I'm sorry to hear that. I didn't know that you had. I hope you a speedy recovery. Oh yeah. I got prostate cancer. It's all good. I mean, if you oh, got to have cancer, this is one of the, you know, least hurting. I don't like pain. I'm allergic to pain. Makes me break out in tears. <laughs> well, but, uh, um, it's not too bad so far. And they, you know, from what I understand, I gotta, I'm gonna, i going to have to have like 40 to 50 radiation treatments on my prostate area. Gives a whole new meaning to the words <laughs> glow stick, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, I don't want to... We can always see things from a positive side. And one side, it could be actually... It can be positive to have cancer. Right, because God, it's one way that God humbled the servants, right? I and, and I think uh, I'm, I'm all about that. I know God's got a reason. Um, I'm, yeah. I can guarantee you right now, I've already had the opportunity to share the gospel with three different people at two different doctor's offices because yeah. of this. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, you know, you got, you got to go where God sends you, and you got to grow where God plants you. Yeah. Yep. So I love that. But I'm sorry, I didn't hear your response. Did you get that link I sent you? Oh, I did get the link, yeah. I, I have it here. Out of Bible curiosity. Yeah. Thanks, man. Did you tell those well, people you were Mr. Batman? Oh, the people at the uh, doctor's office? Yes, sir. Oh, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I show off. Uh, about that very fact. I point out that um, I have a tattoo that says Batman and Robin. My wife's name is Robin. She's the prize of my collection. And yes, I do own her. All right. What really is fun is when um, when we're leaving a doctor's office. Like the other day, I, was t I went in for another scan. And uh, <laughs> I was telling them about my wife. She wasn't with me that time. And I said, yeah, every once in a while, she'll get upset with me when we're leaving a restaurant. Because uh, they'll say, really? Why? 
And so I'll tell them, I get up from the table, I'll look at my wife, and then I'll clap real loud twice. What? what? Come, woman, attend me. And then I'll hold out my three fingers like she's going to grab. The nurse, I thought she was going to smack me. Hey, what's going on, fellow atheists? What up? How's everyone well, doing? I can tell this is not a good faith conversation. Uh, I will say that everybody lies, whether you're Christian, Muslim, atheist, whatever it is. And that is not something that is, uh, you know, inherent to one religion or lack thereof. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, I yeah, think if you're an atheist, that's, that's fine. Thank you. Wow, for thank shit. God that's all you've got to say. Now shut your pie hole there, turd boy. Oh, I think that Mr. Batman, Mr. Batman, I, I wish him I wish him a speedy recovery. I really do. And I'm happy yeah, that he is. Happy people, bro. I love that for him. I really like, do. He's been, he's been like a, on, a, on a victory, in a victory uh, debate for a long time since I've been in the server. Yeah, he keeps screaming. It's it's really effective. It's a really effective tactic for someone as dishonest oh, yes, as him. Sir. You should but, see what it does to children in a classroom environment. Oh, my goodness. I, okay, I'm a little... <laughs> that's a little weird uh, to say, but... Uh, I, it's not weird, okay, sir, if you're uh, a teacher, and I am. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. You see, sir, I'm what's called a substitute teacher, a dedicated sub. A lot of time, that's all I do. And so when they call me, especially for the younger grades, they know that I'm going to have direct control over these children because I tell them straight up. When they don't listen to me, I'll say, children, one, two, three, eyes on me. And, and they're supposed to say something in return. They hardly ever do. And then I'll scream out something to the effect of, yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, look at that man. Oh my goodness, they really freak out about that point. He's a true Christian, I'm not gonna lie. Five, six, all of our attention is his. Oh, that doesn't rhyme actually. No, I don't remember what the response is. Uh, I'm trying since I've done the little ones. It's been probably four or five years. You know, yeah, the is one, two eyes on you. No, the response to one, two, three eyes on me. No, but I hey, thought it was four or five. Well, honestly, if yelling is your only complaint, that's what I just and said. That's pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. If yelling is your only the kids go one, two, eyes on you. That's how it works. You gotta be able to battle that. You know, you know, yelling is his tactic. You have to be able to battle that. You one, can't battle it. two, eyes on you. Three, four, you're a flipping whore. Oh, so you're sitting again. What are you doing, man? Let's go. Nah, nah, he's, he's pretty good, bro. He's pretty good. I, I, I'm going to go take a piss. I think you're supposed to leave it, stupid. That's probably why you smell so bad. You're taking piss with you everywhere. See, some people just need practical advice. So, is everybody excited about Sabbath? It's coming! It's almost here. I'm so excited I'm going to go eat a bat, a rat, a cat, an oyster, a shellfish. Yes, and you're getting the rapid breaker, man. You told me you're getting the express ticket to hell. Is that what you said? Don't forget to wrap it in bacon. I have a I'm, question. I'm only messing What's around, Mr. Thing? Batman. What, no, Mr. Batman. Sir, I'm just playing to you. And, and I tell you, know, my, my pastor, and I, for, the long, for the longest time, I've not had a teacher or a shepherd. Now I can say I have both. But anyway, my pastor, he came uh, one time. I come in for Sunday uh, morning breakfast. We have breakfast with our Sunday school. And they've always had bacon or sausage or something. 
Well, anyway, just a few weeks ago, my wife and I show up and the pastor hollers at me, Brother Jim, we were thinking of you today. I said, what's that? He goes, we ain't eating a piggy today. We're having chicken. I thought I was going to fall out laughing. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and I'm like, these people get it. Now, they still do not believe what I believe, but at least they can make fun of what we all believe individually so we can talk about it honestly. Right there is the beginning of an open and honest conversation when you can joke about it. <laughs> Mr. Batman, I have a question for you. What day I have an answer you for you, sir. Please continue. Fantastic. What day do you believe to be the Sabbath? Because some people say Saturday, some people say Sunday, some people say Wednesday for some reason. Uh, what day do you believe it is? Some people even think it's like any day as long as you just take one day out of the week. Actually, sir, that's not appropriate. Because God made the Sabbath day holy. Do you understand what it says in Genesis? When God set the Sabbath day apart, he made it, he sanctified it and made it unique and holy. You do get that, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I read that part. Yeah. So what, what day okay. is it? Though? So now, not every day, because something is holy, not every day can be holy. When you have okay. something that is holy, the Hebrew word there is kadosh which means to be set apart strictly and only for the purposes of God. So, sir, if you have every day, every day is the Sabbath. Does that work if it's supposed to be holy? No. It has to be a special day set apart only for the purposes of God. That would be holy. Yeah, so when people say, uh, in my experience, when they say any day could be the Sabbath, they mean that they take that as their day. Like some people may irrelevant, take Irrelevant, sir. Irrelevant. God commands well, you. No. See, here's what I want to point out. God says, well, I'm Which having day? a party, and here's the date and the time of the party. Sir, do you hey. get to say, you know what? I'm not good with that date or the time, so I'm going to show up over here. If you show up when you feel like it for the party, is the party going to be going on? No, probably not. But no, what it's day? not. And that's what I'm pointing to, sir. This is the marriage supper of the Lamb. Okay, what day is that? Oh, the Sabbath is Friday evening at sundown. Shabbat Shalom! It's almost Sabbath. To Saturday evening at sundown. That never changes, sir. Do you know that Jesus kept the Sabbath exactly as we keep it today, Friday evening at sundown to Saturday evening at sundown. Do you think with him being God, if we weren't doing it correctly, do you think he wouldn't have fixed that? No, no. I, I just wanted your... Really? Your you don't think that? But that he wouldn't have fixed it? No, that he would have fixed it. Oh, you asked me if you wouldn't have. No, I, I well, think I'm sorry, sir. I, I apologize. I, I actually use a double negative, and I realize that now. My apologies totally on me. Let me rephrase hey, okay. that. A, Don't you think scared. that Jesus, being God, would have corrected that error if if everybody was doing it incorrectly in his time? Sure. Absolutely. Thank you. I, and I apologize, sir. That was totally on me. No, it's okay. I just, I do kind of focus a lot on grammar. I don't know why. I just do. As well I, you I, should, sir. As well you should. And I appreciate you, you doing that because sometimes I need to be called on the carpet for that, especially when I'm tired.